To break out the big guns, welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rocket launchers in video games. For this list, we're looking at any in-game weapons that fire some sort of explosive, be it a single traditional rocket or a barrage of nukes. Every launcher was considered. Rocket launcher. Number 10, Yallerhorn, Destiny. <laughs> The weapon's so powerful, it had to be nerfed. Known as Gorn or the Jelly Horn, the Yallerhorn is a super rare exotic weapon found in Destiny. Not only does this weapon fire projectiles that split into cluster bombs for secondary explosions, those cluster bombs come with a homing capability, so all that damage is dealt directly to one target. This is hands down the most effective weapon for taking on high level raid bosses, as it does 30% more damage than even the second best launcher. With its sleek design and wolf head ornaments, it's easily become the most iconic Destiny weapon. The most recent update, Rise of Iron, was even marketed with its return as the central focus. Pre-order Destiny Rise of Iron and get the Iron Gallerhorn. Number 9, Tri Rocket Launcher, Jet Force Gemini. Tired of fly swatters and bug sprays? Why not get rid of those creepy crawlers with a one-handed rocket launcher capable of demolishing a whole swarm in a single shot? Introducing the Tri Rocket Launcher. By far the most powerful weapon in the game, this triple punch packing launcher fires three spiraling missiles that at once explode on impact. Dealing high damage on drones, bosses, and players alike, this is not a toy to be used lightly. The Tri Rocket Launcher lives up to its reputation as a boss killer though, leaving Mizar, the bug lord himself, squashed on the floor ready to be balled up on a tissue. No need for an exterminator. Number 8, Rocket Launcher, Unreal Tournament. Should I blow up that guy with 6 rockets or 6 grenades? Decisions, decisions. One of the most fear-inducing weapons in Unreal Tournament is the glorious Rocket Launcher. Not only can this baby fire up to 6 rockets at once, but it also has a secondary fire mode that can lob 6 grenades over walls, around corners, and behind the player in a high-speed chase. And did I mention that it's also equipped with a lock-on feature? This is an all-purpose launcher that is perfect for short and long-range encounters, whether in tight or open spaces. It offers a vast array of choices for the player, all offering the same result. Serious ass kicking. Number 7, Micro Missile Launcher, Doom. When Hell's Army comes knocking on your door, there's only one polite way to answer, with guns, duh. Technically a modification for the heavy assault rifle, the micro missile launcher fires fast paced projectiles that erupt into a satisfying ball of fire all over those evil limbs and possessed. The weapon may not deal the most damage, but its weapon mastery challenge offers the player one of the most effective final weapon upgrades in the game, bottomless missiles. That's right, you fire as many devastating missiles as you want with no need to reload. What better way to give those demons hell? Number 6, Devastator, Duke Nukem 3D. Duke may always run out of gum, but he's never in short supply of some ass kicking. The Devastator is a double barreled rocket launcher that fires an onslaught of stinger missiles at almost the same rate of fire as a machine gun. The only dual wielded weapon in the game, at least we think it is, this game is old, it's hard to tell, this puppy is so hardcore that Duke needs to use both hands to grip it. It can rip through assault commanders as well as octobrains and even make that cycloid emperor in the stadium a piece of cake. Come get some. Number 5, Slayer, Perfect Dark. Finally, an answer to the age-old question, is manually steering a rocket into the face of an alien fun? The answer is a resounding yes. Created by aliens, the Slayer is your average run-of-the-mill rocket launcher. However, its secondary fire mode, fly-by-wire, is a bit more unique. It allows the player to take the perspective of the projectile itself to steer it all around the map, and sometimes off it, until finally exploding on the desired target. The rocket is a bit hard to maneuver, but some players are so good they can drive the missile through out-of-bounds areas to attack enemies in separate sections of the map. Ultra rare and ultra effective, this weapon is worth the find.
Number four, Rocket Launcher, Quake. Is there anything more satisfying than watching an enemy gibbed by your rocket? I don't think so. Gibbing, by the way, is a short way of saying when an enemy erupts into a bloody mess, and that's often the result of the iconic and revolutionary Quake rocket launcher. This weapon takes out most enemies in one hit, while also providing heavy splash damage that will throw the player backwards. Thus, the ultimate legacy of this launcher is popularizing the rocket jumping technique, found in other shooters like Halo and Team Fortress 2 much later. Due to the overpowering amount of inspiration provided, Valve added Quake's rocket launcher as a usable item in Team Fortress 2. Number 3, HECURPG Half-Life series. The third installment may be caught in a perpetual production cycle vortex, but at least we can all look back on the weapons that made the first two so great. This RPG stands amongst the finest of those weapons. Dealing out massive destruction and incinerating vehicles in single shots makes this launcher super effective, but what really makes it stand out is its laser-guided aiming system. Players are able to course-correct rockets after they've been fired by aiming the laser in a different direction, providing great opportunities for trick shots. You can even redirect enemies' rockets back towards them with this helpful laser. Saving ammo was never so enjoyable. Dr. Gordon Freeman, you're a smart cookie. Number 2, Rhino, Ratchet & Clank series. Fiercely devastating and expensive weapon that no Lombax should ever leave home without. Serving as an abbreviation for Rip Ya A New One, the original Rhino fired seven homing missiles simultaneously, providing an explosion that would clear out the whole screen of enemies. Due to its fanatical devotion, the weapon has been updated in nearly every incarnation of the series. Other versions include the ability to disintegrate enemies, the playing of the glorious melody of the 1812 Overture as you fire, and the reimagining of the weapon as a giant mech suit. Whether it be a shady salesman or a string of hidden blueprints, the Rhino is always a reward that's well worth the risk. Rhino's yours. Hang on while I grab my toolkit. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. It's a rocket launcher Gatling gun. Number 1, Fat Man, Fallout series. You know what a post-apocalyptic world plagued by radiation needs the most? More radiation! There's no puny missiles or rockets for this hobbled together catapult. This launcher only hurls miniature tactical nukes, putting the cause of the apocalypse at the fingertips of the player. Fat Man takes out behemoths and death claws in an instant, and although it can be hard to find your enemy's limbs to loot afterwards, the sight of that beautiful mushroom cloud is always worth it. But if one nuclear blast isn't enough, you can always get the upgraded Experimental Merv to launch eight mini nukes at once. War never changes, and watching a super mutant take a nuke to the face in bats never stops being fun. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite rocket launcher? For more explosive top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.